Today we're going to check out this 1963 Chevy Nova two-door convertible. This little deuce convertible is a fantastic car. The previous owners owned it for the past 12 years in Nebraska. He purchased it from a guy that is down in Texas, which explains why this is such a solid little car. It's powered by a DE code, which I believe to be the original 283 engine. Power steering, power brakes, nice sound and dual exhaust on it. The main important part on these little Novas are these uh, inner fender aprons. They're most of the structure and stuff of these Novas up front, and this thing is rock solid. Inner fenders front frame rails, top of the fenders, all that stuff all looks original and solid here. Let's see where they did any patchwork or anything on this inner fenders. Heater hoses is all hooked up. This is just a sweet running 283 four barrel. Like I said, DE code, which is the right code for a 63 Nova. As far as the paint job on this car goes, previous owner said this car was painted when he before he bought it. That means it's 12 years old at least, and this paint job is absolutely show quality from bumper to bumper. Just an absolutely beautiful car. It's riding on a nice set of rally wheels with uh, BFG race white letter tires. I do have an uh, alignment appointment for it. The toe end on the uh, wheels are pointed in a little bit, so I do have an alignment appointment, which will be done here next week. So. The hood gap here on the driver's side is excellent from front to back, nice even gap. Same thing on the passenger side, absolutely perfect gaps on this fender, on the fender to hood. Front uh, chrome piece here has a little bit of oxidation in it, still shines nice, but you can see just a little bit, a couple little pits and some little scars on it. Uh, bumpers to me, the front bumper looks like it's all been re -chromed. the front bumper is beautiful. Headlight buckets and stuff like that are in excellent shape also. The grill does have a few little dings in them, a few little scratches and a few little dings. As we look out across the top of it, um, paint is perfect. We got a few little black gnats are starting to come on here a little bit. If you see anything in the video, that's what that is. gap on the door is excellent. Bottom corner, bottom of the fender is in excellent shape. No chips, no paint imperfections anywhere on that passenger fender. As we come across to the door, same thing. I don't see a chip or a bubble anywhere in it. For a paint job being done this long ago and being this nice, it's just unbelievable. Very well taken care of car back gap is really nice as we come in here the lower uh, quarter panels all good no bubbles there over the wheel lips nice rear quarters nice new exhaust comes right out there tires still have a lot of tread on them as well as we look up and down the sides the body's laser straight on both sides back bumper's been re-chromed Tail light lenses and stuff and surrounds are original. Not perfect, but still in very nice shape. Trunk lid gaps, excellent on both sides. You can just tell this has always been a nice, solid old car. I mean, this is the way the gaps all are and where everything fits and the fit and finish on it. Uh, original piece of chrome back here. Excellent shape for original, but if you look at the very, very top of it, you can see just a few little stress, stress things in that chrome, but I would not change it. Does have the dual mirrors. As we open up the doors, obviously the door jams have been repainted at the same time as the car. Nice door jam paint. Under the hood paint, everything like that's all been done very nicely as well. Turquoise door panel, armrest, base, all that has been replaced. As far as I can tell, I mean, it's just, it's too nice to be original in my opinion. The paint, the turquoise paint and stuff here has all been redone. Now the paint on the dash, guys, is all original paint. You can just tell um, it's starting to get thin here from the sun. Looks nice, but it's still original. 
Steering wheel's in great shape, original radio, aftermarket gauges in it. So it's got the original AM Delco right here. And then inside here, it's got a Kenwood. CD player works fine. It does have a Kenwood remote too, so you can leave that open and use the remote when you're uh, driving. Now the this comes on and off with the key, guys. So as soon as you shut the key off, that goes off as well. Um, these are some pretty cool kick panels. So they've got the vents down in here for the air, and it's got kind of like a teardrop speaker, which so you don't hit your foot both sides. Um, there must be an aftermarket uh, kick panel, but done very nicely in that correct turquoise carpet and stuff was all replaced. Door panels were replaced, and it looks like the seats were all done as well. So the seat's in fantastic shape. It's got the correct turquoise seat belts. Um, it's got 63 and a Chevy Bowtie emblem uh, embroidered there in the door panel. Boot, back seat, top and bottom, door panels, all of it's been completely redone. Just fantastic 63 Nova, guys. The inside is absolutely gorgeous. Door shuts nice. The top, it does have a power top as well. The top's white and in great shape. Inside the trunk and undercarriage pictures, you'll see on our website, coyoteclassics.com. Inside the trunk's all speckled. It does have a uh, rally spare as well. No smoke on either side. Dual exhaust sounds really good. Look up and down the side of the car, very, very nice and straight. Back bumper is perfect. No bubbles or blisters anywhere that I can see on the quarter panel. Door gap again, nice and even. body filler that I can hear or see in there. This is a fantastic car. The door just clicks nice and shut. The handles looks like they are original, but you can just tell it's a low mileage car because it's got just a little bit, a little bit of wear on that handle, but it's still in fantastic shape. Corner of the door is nice, bottom of the door is great. Armrest base does show just a little bit of wear. But the pad's nice, door panels are nice, original window cranks and stuff. They've got just a few little pits on them. Here's both seat belts. So it must have seat belts for three, guys. So it's got seat belts for three in there, in the front. The horn works. Um, go ahead and shut the radio off. Temperature gauge works, it's got auto meter gauges. Uh, volts working, 25 pounds of oil pressure at an idle here. Um, gas gauge is working, power top switch, looks like the correct one. That works good. Wipers, they work in park. Heater fan works, I checked that a little earlier, but we'll turn it on again. Here's your heater fan. And they all, uh, those pull in and out, everything works properly. Let's see if the lighter works. Looks like it might have a manual choke, guys, right over here in this. Yeah, looks like a manual choke over here in the left side. Lighter works. It's red hot. Boy, it sure idles nice. I mean, just sitting there idling, it's got a nice idle. I dropped it down into drive. It didn't surge ahead, didn't die. It just set up perfectly as far as the idle goes. I can feel as far as that toe end though, that it's just kind of off center a little bit. So we'll notice that I'm sure when we're driving it here.
some reason, like I said, our toe end needs to be set. So we're not going to go super fast on it. Um, the speedometer works. Every single thing works on the car. It's going to run and drive great. I just got to go ahead and get that uh, toe end adjustment made and, and it'll be ready to go.